A mango tree requires a lot of space to grow. But if you're short of space or living in a colder climate, growing a mango tree in a container is a great option. Watch till the end to learn how to grow this delicious tree in pots. Propagation Propagating a mango tree from seed is a bad idea because it may take up to eight years to produce fruit. And even after that, there's no guarantee that it'll bear fruit or not and of which variety. The smart idea is to buy a grafted plant. A grafted mango plant takes around two years to fruit and you can select a dwarf variety from a garden center. Choosing a right variety. A dwarf mango tree grows up to two to four and a half meters tall and can be tried in containers. You can find the names of varieties in the description of the video. Planting a mango tree. In the beginning, a two size bigger planter than the root ball would be sufficient. If you grow a dwarf variety, your compact mango tree will fit well in a 30 to 40 gallon pot once it becomes mature. The best time for planting. The best time for planting a mango tree is in spring. However, in their native habitat, like India, mangoes are planted before the beginning of the monsoon, July and August, or after the rainy season. Requirements for growing mango trees in containers. It needs light, well-drained soil that is very rich in organic matter with a pH of around 5.5 to 7.5 is ideal. Instead of using regular soil from the garden, use a high quality potting mix. Also, add one third part of compost or aged manure in the soil mix at the time of planting. A mango tree needs a lot of sun and heat to thrive. Almost eight to 10 hours of exposure to the full intense sun is required for optimum growth and productivity of the plant. Place the mango tree in a container in the south or west facing position of your garden. Mango trees that grow on the ground don't require much watering, but container grown plants are different. You'll need to water your mango plant regularly in its first two to three years. Once the tree is established and mature enough to bear fruits, start to water moderately during the pre-flowering period. Keep doing this until 40 to 50% of the tree is full of flowers, and then water regularly from flowering stage to fruit formation until a few weeks or a month left before harvesting the mangoes. During this time, start to water moderately again. Mango Tree Care Feed it with a balanced fertilizer when actively growing. At the beginning of the blooming season, decrease the amount of nitrogen and select a fertilizer with high potassium and phosphorus content. For plentiful fruits, go for citrus fertilizers like 8392 mix available in the market. Continuous pinching when your plant is young encourages bushier growth. The mango tree doesn't require a lot of pruning every year. However, it's necessary to remove dead, diseased, and entangled branches that are causing the lack of air circulation and penetration of sunlight to control its shape and health. The best time to prune is after the harvest. Common pests that attack a mango tree are hoppers, mealybugs, scale, and spider mites. They reduce the vigor of the tree, which causes fewer fruits. These must be controlled as early as possible using organic or chemical pesticides. Growing a mango tree in cold climates. If you live in a colder region, use a dark colored pot because the mango tree loves the warmth and black color has a tendency to absorb heat. Make sure your pot has sufficient drainage holes because a mango tree doesn't appreciate a moist waterlogged growing medium. Also, you'll need to cover the pot with bubble wrap when the temperature starts to dip. In winter, moving your mango tree's pot in a greenhouse or indoors is a good idea if you're not growing it in a frost-free area. Place it in a room near a south-facing window which receives at least some amount of direct sunlight during the day. Try to warm up the room using grow lights and special temperature-raising halogen lights. Harvesting a mango tree After flowering, mango fruit start to ripen within the next three to four months. It all depends on the climate and the variety you're growing. In hot and humid climates, fruits ripen fast. Pluck fruits when their scent becomes sweet and tempting. You can harvest unripe fruits too. These are used in making sherbet, pickles, chutneys, and curries. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.